Can folic acid deficiency or folate deficiency lead to hair loss? Well, first of all, folic acid deficiency is relatively uncommon. Uh, we do see it in some pregnant women, but it's quite widely found in our food. It's found in green leafy vegetables and a lot of food items are fortified with folic acid. So it's not a common condition to have. Folic acid deficiency can lead to a certain type of anemia that can be rectified with giving folic supplements. There are studies that indicate if you have low folic acid levels, it can lead to a greater risk of uh, alopecia areata or rather the other way around. If you have uh, alopecia areata, alopecia totalis or alopecia universalis, which, an, which is an autoimmune disease. If you have those, you are likely also to have significantly lower levels of folate or folic acid. Now, intelligent effluvium, uh, there is one study, uh, the quality of the study is not really known, but there is one study that uh, is pointing towards that intelligent effluvium, the folic acid level may be increased, uh, so rather than decreased. But generally speaking, so in conclusion, folic acid deficiency is not very common. It can be uh, seen with alopecia areata, it can maybe have a role to play in alopecia areata while uh, low levels of uh, folic acid is maybe not that relevant in uh, androgenetic alopecia, male pattern boldness, female pattern boldness, maybe intelligent effluvium, it has a role in the sense that folic acid may be too high. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any suggestions for videos we should make about hair loss, then do let us know and we'll look into it. If you have any questions, if you want an online consultation, you can find the contact details down below and you can also find links to our channel, web, uh, YouTube channel and our website. Thank you for watching.